when I say President Bola Ahmed Tunubu may be Nigeria's last president. President Bola Ahmed Tunubu may be Nigeria's last president. People think that we are playing or it's just uh, a ruse. Look at what is happening in northern Nigeria. A president that has not spent up to, let's say, one year and, and he's facing all sort of political backlash. Look at what is happening in the east, in the north, and in the south. Look at the trials and tribulations this current president is going through. The only president in the history of Nigeria, only democratically elected president in the history of Nigeria that within a year people are clamoring to protest within a year. And you, you have not had such hashtag, hashtag end bad governors. Just within a year, these people want to divide and destroy the government of President Bola Metunubu. Well, if it's karma that is playing, if it's what he had shown, that is by the side. But you see, Tinubu may be Nigeria's last president. As we speak, you see what is happening in the north. Russian France flag flying up in the north. And you see a, just a bunch of people come out with these Russian flags and you think it's just play or it's just, there's nothing there. In a protest where we have hunger, people are hungry and bad governors. And you see people carrying flags of other nations, other nations that we know very well have an interest in Africa. Though the Russian people, the Russian embassy have come out to say that uh, they don't have a hand in what is happening in the governance in Nigeria that the protesters have a right to protest. That is what the Russians reacted. That is their take. We don't have a hand in what is happening there, but you see, the protesters have the right to come out and protest. If you look at that statement, you know politics, world politics. Who tells you that Russia would not be interested in Nigeria if it has the opportunity? Who is, who is telling you that? Don't let anybody deceive you. Don't be deceived by just an open statement, just a statement put online. The intentions are different. Look at what is happening in the Niger Republic. Look at how the Russians were able to join the people and some other forces to push France out of Niger and also Burkina Faso. You see what's happening in Burkina Faso and Niger Republic. You know that Russia has an intel. Russia has a hand in it. The Northern people are calling for Russian invasion. Russian invasion. They are calling. They also call for military intervention. Military to take over the government. You see, President Tunubu is between the devil and the deep blue sea. His problems and travails are so many. And I don't know how he's going to handle all these things. All these... No politicians have been fingered that these politicians is... Uh, sponsoring this Russian thing or whatever, but there are things we can say that sh is connected to these Russian flags. There are things we can say. Although the president is fidgety, just this lead to protest in the north. Because I said before, the reasons why the federal government over the weeks or, or last week was doing so much. They had to call traditional rulers, they had to call these that groups and everybody to stop the protest is because of northern Nigeria, not because of southern Nigeria. Southern Nigeria poses no threat to the government of President Bola Ahmed Tunubu, whether it is protests or elections. They pose no threat because southern Nigeria seems to be calm because of a level of enlightenment, not education, a level of exposure. But you know, you see northern Nigeria, we have the Amadjiris, we have people, you see how you see the level of literacy in northern Nigeria. Any sort of protest will spiral into something else. When, especially when it has to do with hunger. When you're talking about hunger, you don't talk about, say, uh, we need peaceful pro protesters. There's no peaceful protest with hunger. Let's stop deceiving ourselves. There's nothing like peaceful protest with hunger. Somebody that is hungry is protesting, and you expect him to move peaceful. If he has opportunity, he's going to loot. So these are things that is expected. Loot, properties, destruction, all sorts. Somebody is an illiterate, somebody is not enlightened, and somebody is hungry, without education, and poor. What do you expect from that person when he starts protesting? I know this evil elite we have in northern Nigeria, 
they will use the opportunity to settle scores they have with Tunubu and the presidency. You know that this is not a Nigeria, this is not a people. They are very, very dangerous. Especially their politicians. They have deliberately put these young northerners under this bondage so that they can control them and mass use them for whatever they want to do. A tailor was arrested, mass producing Russian flags. The question here is that in this season of hunger, hunger, where did you get money hmm, to buy the material to start to start sewing Russian flags and you're distributing to people? Somebody must be sponsoring that that move. Is either a politician on, or non-state actor or an interest in the north that is sponsoring that move. Somebody that is hungry, we are, we are going to buy yards. You know how much is yard of clothes that will feed your family a day conveniently? Or even f the mass production, this guy was caught by GSS. The mass production, man, not only in Kano State, you saw in Kaduna, and it's spiraling into other states. It's moving from one place to the other. These people can easy, easily be used to move any agenda. Like I said, what is happening in the Southwest, whereby the young people are subjected to poverty, subjected to lack of education, lack of basic amenities, parents cannot afford to send their children to school, so their children end up roaming in the streets, no, read, no reading culture, no quest for knowledge, ignorance on the high side, arrogance, introduction to drugs, they, they get involved in all sort of evil ventures, more of yahoo yahoo, more of internet fraud, more of all vices in the southwest. If you have 10 million naira, you can start a political party in the southwest. That is true because of the spirit of ignorance. Spirit, that is why it is easier to mobilize thugs in every local government to stop voters from voting. It is easier to mobilize talks against the people that are protesting and end to bad governance, which will benefit the talks, his children, and his family. They are being sold all sort of, I don't know what they are selling to them, all sort of whatever, so as to manipulate them into, because they are not enlightened, they are not exposed, they are not educated, they are illiterate, they are ignorant. One day we'll talk about Amajiri in the Southwest, that is what... The current political, those that, that are politicians in Yoruba land, that is what they are trying to achieve, whether knowingly or unknowingly. We are not empowering the average Southwesterner. This is the same thing that is happening in the North. It is easier to move people from one place to another, just, just a little money. Like I said, the protest is not ending anytime soon in the North. One wants to ask the question, why is it that this protest is getting more traction in Kaduna? What is happening? Why is it that Kaduna is boiling? And you, have, you see them playing with uh, the, the armor tanks, playing with soldiers, moving around soldiers, protesting and all sort of you. There is a plot against Bola Med Tinubu from the north. And Tinubu may be Nigeria's last president. Russia saying that it does not have a hand in what is happening in the north. All those are political statements because when they are given an offer, why, they, why won't they take it? Look at what is happening in the Niger Republic. The Niger Republic is almost the same as northern Nigeria. They have ties, they have brothers and sisters. Remember when President Bola Mentunbu wanted to evade Niger? Look at how the north massively regrouped and opposed that that's the that attack on Niger Republic. So what are the reasons they gave? They told, they told the president that Niger Republic, we have ancestral ties with them. We are like brothers and sisters. In fact, Niger Republic is almost an extension of northern Nigeria. So that move by President Tinubu to attack Niger Republic was one of the things that started, one of the genesis of the clash between Tinubu and northern elements. Northern elements. They took it. They took it personal that Tinubu wants to destroy their region. And those, the, the, if Nigeria had gone to war with Niger Republic, it may have had implications. I have an in-law, a brother who is a Nigerian. I'm a Nigerian in the northern Nigeria. So they are like brothers and sisters, just divided by boundary. 
So they picked that up. They picked that up against President Bola Tinubu. That is why you see, it is easier for the North to mobilize youth against President Bola Tinubu. And also, they mobilize their politicians. We're having meetings upon meetings. We have Aero 5 Kwankwaso meetings in the North, holding strategic meetings. What are these meetings for? And these are people, they met with even Buhari in Daura. What are these strategic meetings for? But let me tell you, all these travels that Tinubu is facing will not stop him from becoming president 2027. Will not stop him. Like I said, I repeat myself, Tinubu may be Nigeria's last president. All these threats would not go anywhere, would not achieve any aim of removing Tinubu from power. Because I don't know why the North is becoming so drunk. They think they are born to rule or whatever. Why are they so drunk? Why are they so bent? Okay, if you remove Tinubu, who else is going to take on the reins of power? In case you remove Tinubu, who else is going to take the reins of power? Is it Shetima? Okay, remove Tinubu, remove Shetima. Who else is the next? Akpabio. Akpabio. Tinubu may be Nigeria's last president. Whatever you're going to do is going to get to the extent whereby everybody will be calling, all, everybody in every region will be calling for a referendum or a regional system of government. The awareness, the consciousness is moving. The consciousness is spreading. Those that are not believing or not subscribing to regionalism or balkanization of Nigeria, the consciousness with this administration, what is happening, especially with the protests, the consciousness is spreading, is spreading, is spreading, and it will get to a point whereby different regions will now intentionally call for balkanization, restructuring of the constitution and referendum. This is where we are going to. So we are not taking what is happening in the north lightly. There are politicians that are really, really vexed with Bola Tinubu. They believe that he wants to, uh, is working for the West, is representing Western interests. That's why they have to bring their enemy, which is Russia. Western interests, I'm talking about the, the United States. That is why you see he's bringing their enemy, Russia. You can see the flags of Russian flying all over northern Nigeria. Chief of Defense Staff have come out to say those flying Russia flag, they have committed treason. Yes, he's right. Because it's an attack on the sovereignty of Nigeria, threatening a government with the flag of another country with, under a protest, calling the military to take over, openly calling, begging the military. You see at the protest ground, they were begging the military to take over. It has gone into that. At Tinubu has suffered though. But my sentiment here is that I will come sentimental. If this were happening in the southeast, you have seen the army go haywire. You have dropped people dead. This happened when the people of the southeast celebrated uh, Trump's uh, election. When Trump, Donald Trump, won the last election, he became president. It was being celebrated in the southeast raising united states and israel flag then over 200 people were killed in the southeast there's a report that supports that over 200 people were killed the the the, 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 the soldiers went berserk they started shooting but look at what's happening in the north they are even taking over armored tanks jumping on the the trucks of soldiers somebody was even dragging a bike with a soldier, and the soldier is begging the guy. They overwhelming the soldiers, and the soldiers did not fire one bullet. Did not fire one bullet. They lost, they lost their agility on northern protesters that were destroying and looting. If it had happened in the southeast, you will see that they start shooting. That is enough for the southeast to call that they don't be part of Nigeria. So many things have happened. They are so determined in the southeast. They are so determined. Looking at this. If you are the one, how would you feel? These guys have been doing this thing. Nobody is being killed. The army has suddenly lost its power. They, 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 they find it difficult to curtail the protesters. But if it were happening in the southeast, you see, they killed over 200 people. They were celebrating the win of 
Donald Trump raising Israel and raising United States flag under Buhari, and they killed over 200 people. Killed, like killed, murdered. The army murdered over 200 people in the southeast. But this is happening in the north. Nobody is killing anybody. Nobody is stopping anybody. They allow them to have their free will. That is the same Nigeria we're having. Then somebody will come on national TV and start telling us about one Nigeria. Start telling us about uh, uh, we are professional. You are just deceiving yourself. The people know you. The people understand the games you are playing. People are no more gullible again. People are now enlightened to know that these people are just deceiving. There is a preferential treatment when it comes to the Southeast. The Southeast, there's so much hatred when it comes to the Southeast. Almost shoot aside. Any little thing shoot aside. That is one of the reasons why the call for no protest, like protests coming out to carry placards. We are not doing that in the Southeast. We are not protesting against Paul Ametunubu. He should complete his eight years. The Southeasterners have protested with their votes. They did not support Paul Ametunubu. They saw the danger that was coming, so they refused to support Bola Metunubu. They believed in the pit of B, which they said it was a tribal thing. They said it was a tribal thing. Before pit of B, you see people come out to say, Igbos are not united. Let them come out and support a leader. Let them play politics. Let's have it. They stop, supported a leader now. Before you said they are not united. They cannot have a consensus. They supported a leader now. The same people that said they are not united are now saying that they are being tribalistic. Nigeria is Sidon Luko. Sidon Luko. For Tinubu and the North, let them continue fighting and solve whatever, whatever it is. So far, it's going to bring Biafra, Ududuwa, or Arewa. That is what we are looking at. Hmm? Those that are pushing Igbo must go. I've, I've advised you what you need to push. If you are pushing Igbo must go, you are looking for trouble. You are trying to cause mayhem. Because you, Yoruba, don't know that you are pushing. You are not in the majority when it comes to Yoruba nation, Yoruba population. So if you start a war, you start a war, you might just be few to, 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 to you don't know, you start something, you might don't know how that thing is going to end. You might not know the end of it. So the real thing you need to do, Let's push for consciousness whereby everybody will not come to the round table and said, let's have referendum. Let's have regionalism. Uh -huh. Then you can push. Igbo must go through that means. But this means you are pushing Igbo must go. Let's destroy their shop, blah, 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 blah. They will arrest you and nothing will happen because there's a constitution binding everybody. They will arrest you because you are trying to even, your, 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 the Southwest governors, they have an interest in Nigeria. So don't come and destroy their interests. They have their own ways of putting out laws to discourage people or to persecute people to deal with their enemies. They have their own ways. Let them use their own ways. In the National Assembly, in the State Assembly, their Land Use Act or whatever, deny you of C of O, not selling land for you. Yes, landlord will say, ah, me of Ibo, no Ibo, we don't want this one. Selling lands that belongs to revoking license uh, land uh, c of o that belongs to people that are not, are not southwesterners they have their way of doing what they can do so don't even be so illiterate and so uninformed and say we must go except you are pushing an agenda you are you, you are gaslighting i will understand you are gaslighting you are not really you don't really mean it that way you are trying to stir up the waters and make like the way you stir up the waters and said Igbos are the sponsors of the protest, then the Igbos back down. No, the Igbos do not back down. They are not cowards. They know your game. They know that you put that out statement, accused Obi, accused obedience, so that they will back down. They will not be part of the protest against your brother. I'm talking to the Yoruba Ronu and conservatives, few of the conservatives that are not using their intellect to run intelligence to run some of these campaigns i'm not talking to the whole yoruba people intentionally the influencers on social media did all they can to push the people back and they are happy when they do it on social media or wherever they are they'll go into their closets and they'll be happy at uh, this we have done this one we have done that one we understand all the games if you are going to push that push that through the right means and the right source well i know that 
will not get mad when he talks to when it comes about the politics in the southwest. Those that are even supporting those Euro news, uh, maybe SAs, and when it when we talk about those guys coming out to to contest for elections, they are they, nobody know them. They are just noise makers. Tinubu's government and what he's going through, hmm? what the North is cooking for him, what the North, North never forgives. We, we have been hearing that since when I was in primary school. What the North is cooking for him, I hope that Nigeria will, be, will still be together after Tinubu's eight years. I'm sending this message to the North. Whatever you're cooking for Tinubu, he's going to spend eight years. We are here and we are seeing it. The Southeasterners are in support of Tinubu's government, not in support of Southwest agenda. Tinubu's government to complete eight years, and after eight years, if he wants to continue, so far that he becomes the last president that Nigeria would have. No offense, no nothing. Let Russia deny and deny that they don't have a hand in what is happening, or as if they are not interested in the in the in the in the, in the milk. And honey flowing in Nigeria. Let them continue saying so. But let them know that Niger is an extension of northern Nigeria. And whatever northern Nigeria is doing because of what Russia did in Niger and the Sahel countries. What Russia did in Niger and the Sahel countries. So let's all be sitting down and watching. And prepare yourself for a great awakening. Prepare yourself for what's going to happen this year. This year, this year so many things are going to happen that will change the course of the Nigerian nation.